In the previous video, we defined torque, and we insisted on the fact that we would not worry about torque being a vector, because all our problems would be planar, and therefore all we would need is a sign convention that tells us positive torque or negative torque. So let's talk about the sign convention. And to talk about it, let's consider this drawbridge. Now, the drawbridge um, is made of two things, the bridge and the cable or the chain that can pull it up to close it. Therefore, we have a tension force here, and we have the weight force applied to the bridge. And if we assume that the bridge has a uniformly distributed mass, we know that its center of mass is at the geometric center, and therefore, that's where the weight force is applied. What's really important is that these two forces are trying to do opposite things when it comes to rotation. T is trying to rotate the bridge this way, whereas Mg is trying to rotate it that way. And they don't have to even succeed in causing any rotation. That's what they're trying to do. And the sign convention we're going to define is the following. We're going to say that any force that creates or would create a rotation that is counterclockwise will be assigned a positive torque, whereas any force that would create a rotation that is clockwise will be assigned a negative torque. In other words, we define positive rotation like this. And T is trying to rotate the drawbridge like this. If it could rotate it, it would, and that's how it would do it. So the torque due to tension is positive with this convention. Mg, on the other hand, tries to rotate it like this, and therefore the torque due to Mg is negative because that would be a clockwise rotation. Now, of course, this is arbitrary. I could have said, well, I'll choose clockwise to be positive. You know, there's no reason. It's like x and y. You can choose x to be positive to the right or to the left, whatever you want. So it really is arbitrary, but most textbooks and most professors agree on the fact that we take counterclockwise as positive torque. Again, all that matters is that you stick to your choice. If you say counterclockwise is positive, just stick to that. If you want to go the other way, that's fine. Just be consistent. So this is the sign convention, and this is all we're going to need to deal with torque because all of our problems are going to be planar. We just have to define, in addition to x and y, what we consider a positive rotation to be.